Shalom, all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahusha and double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone, Bashem Rakak Wadash. My name is Yakaba from Plain Tables Camp in Philly. This is um, a premier Edomite from Canada. You know, say a few words on the current state of uh, women putting their careers forward. And the name of this lesson may be something along the lines of. I was really going, originally going to name it uh, a man's standard, but we'll, we'll see. Because uh, I'll, I'll go in a few directions and um, hopefully you get some understanding. I'll start uh, right there. It's on Chris Williamson's channel. Jordan Peterson is this dude over here on the right. I said the premier Edomite from Canada. More than 50% of women are childless at 30 all right women with the e let's let that play the first yeah. time ever. well so uh, this is uh, somebody clipped a part of one of my podcasts i believe it was where i was talking about what what our society does to 19 year old women or 18 year old women 19 year old women we just lie to them all the time you know the first lie is there's nothing more important than your career, more or less by definition. So that's the first lie. The second lie is there will be nothing more important to you in your life than your career. And so that's the second lie. And then the third lie is there should be nothing more important in your life than the, your career. So that's the third lie. And then it, implicit in that is the idea that children are a burden and that the idea that women should have children is part of the oppressive patriarchy and should be resisted. And and there you go. So that was a mouthful. So yeah, this that this ideology affects all women, Edomites, Israelites, so-called Black Latinos, Native Americans. Those are the Israelites. Uh, whatever nation you come from, that 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 way of thinking affects all women, and that's ingrained within their psyche. To believe that all right so standard probably been hearing this word float around the internet standard which certain women don't agree on men's standards on well, certain you know, men of you know means men got their shit together whatever they don't agree all right and they say it shouldn't be like that so let's look at word standard because they they try to make standard means something else this is what standard means i'm gonna break it down all right something considered by an authority or by general consent as a basis of comparison and approved model so you have a woman and you have an approved model all right so uh say let's use a israelite man in the faith as a, as a prime example he he doesn't approve the model of the modern woman simple as that an object that is regarded as the usual or most common size form of its kind um, let's see a rule or principle that is used as a basis for judgment a standard they try to establish standards for a new uh, philosophical approach right, um, an average or normal requirement quality quantity level grade etc his uh his work this week hasn't been up to the usual standard all right standard standards those morals ethics habits which is behavior etc established by authority custom or an individual as acceptable all right so a man has a standard all right what he will what he finds acceptable morals ethics and habits all right it's elementary etc established by authority custom or an individual as acceptable he tried to live up to his father's standards so it's, it's what the man wants all right in layman's terms all right. a standard and we looked this up it's a lot there we looked the etymology up it says a standing point all right, standing point, standing for uh, study for standard, uh, 
criterion, if I'm saying it right, refer to the basis for making judgments. So you look at anything, not just a woman, but and say, uh, what, what's, what's my standard for this model? Okay, I want this, I don't want that. I don't like this, I like that. Uh, and the man, uh, the, the man is the authority. So what was I doing? Oh, uh, standing point. I think I had to look that up. Standing point, a position from which objects or principles are viewed and according to which and according to which they are compared and judged. All right. So if you're looking at a, a, a person and you have a certain standard, you'll say, I like this, I don't like that. I like this, I don't like that. It's as simple as that. It's not complicated. All right? So everyone has a standard on what they find acceptable. All right? Those morals, ethics, habits, etc. established by authority, which is in this lessons to man, custom, or an individual as acceptable. Now, he tried to live up to his father's standards. All right? So think we get what that means now don't, don't try to change what standard means now all right establish it what what standard mean standards all right uh, so we're going to move on to so we showed the video we showed that and here's a few scriptures i have i use the uh multiverse retrieval uh, search box all right just put it in here with the abbreviations and click retrieve i think you can do it over here too and uh come up but you can't get the blue you can't put this put the strongs on there but you can change the format so there's a few scriptures i have right there so we're gonna go with uh childbearing first and go into that first timothy 2 and 15 it says well I'll start here 11 let your women let, let your woman let your let the woman learn in silence with all subjection but I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over a man, but to be in, a, but to be in silence. All right, so it's, it's obvious. It should be anyway. The man is the head of the household, and your wife is supposed to follow. For Adam was first formed, then Eve, because Adam, by the Most High God, Yahweh, and his son Yahweh Shai, set up. Well, Adam was Yahweh Shai technically. All right. But that order is sustained. All right. For Adam was first uh, formed, then Eve. So Adam was given the authority to be the head. All right. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in a transgression. Meaning that Adam wasn't deceived by the serpent. Adam was deceived by his woman. All right. was in, so Eve was in a transgression, notwithstanding... She shall be saved, meaning she transgressed first. Right, not that Adam wasn't in sin, but he she transgressed first. All right. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith, in charity, and holiness, and sobriety. Now you know women pushing uh, maternity, so to speak, off until they're at the very edge, the end of the childbearing years. When it becomes high risk pregnancy. All right, so let's look up saved first. We got 4982. I think I have saved up. We got uh, Sazo. So, how are you going to be saved? All right. To save, keep safe, sound, to secure from danger and destruction. Child, time of Jacob's trouble. To save uh, a suffering one from perishing. Right, I think we get to get the point there. To be delivered from penalties of the mess mess messianic judgment. To save from evils which obstruct the reception of messianic deliverance. That's a, that's a heavy one right there. That's a, I can say that's the main one. Because right? you got the pride of these women. And men created feminism, by the way. The, 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 uh, the premier, the Edomites, the Caucasian Edomites, they created it. All right, to destroy the families. All right, to save from e the evils which obstruct the reception of messianic deliverance there you go so you if you believe all that feminist bullshit you are being obstructed from deliverance all right saved 
uh, it says uh, in childbearing. Uh, what's that? Uh, fifty. Make sure. Uh, fifty forty-two. Fifty forty-two. We got uh, technogonia. And we got childbearing. By implication, maternity, the performance of marital duties, childbearing, childbirth. And let's look into what marriage, maternal, so it's maternal, maternal duties. Are, I think I searched it. Maternal duties. So some women may not have children, either because they, like, they physically can't, or the man doesn't want them to want children, or the husband doesn't want children, or she might want, not want children. The defining attributes of maternal role were considered nurturing. So even if you don't have children, all right. Nurturing, protecting, uh, caretaking, and managing household affairs. All right, so it doesn't have. To, it's not just having ch uh, barren children. All right, but maternal duties, the things a mother would do, even if she doesn't have children. A woman, things a woman would do: nurture, protecting, caretaking, right, which children, and managing household affairs. Uh, the consequences were the awareness of neonatal status. How neonatal mean relating to newborn children, or oh, new 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 children status, balancing fulfillment of multiple roles, maternal role strain and role conflict, and it goes into uh, like you living with a you know husband and children and all that so we'll move on from there all right performance of marital duties all right so we got that timothy notwithstanding she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety so you got to continue all right maternal duties and or children and faith and charity and holiness and you know these women ain't doing that shit they consider it shit <laughs> they ain't doing it they just hang, hanging on by a couple of threads and hoping for the best all right we can move on to isaiah 46 uh, at 46 and 8 remember this and show yourselves men and bring it again to mind all you transgressors all right so as they say, the masculine burden performance to be a man, to show masculinity, champion, great. Uh, to be a man, for example, act in a manly way. Meaning, like Abraham, you know, taking control of your house, leading your house, household in the right direction. All right. Yeah, Isaiah 32 and 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail and the gathering shall not come. This goes back to this is the, uh, the independent woman scripture that are at ease. We got uh, Sha, we got Sha, Sha, ah, Nan, or Sha, Nan, Sha, ah, Nan. It's new final or not final to be uh, secure. They're going for the bag. All right. To be secure. So they have uh, the uh, careers that are securing them. All right. Let's look at, um, I think I saw some of these comments. I'm a woman age 60. I just put in what, the, what did I put in? I put in uh, are women more free today? And this is like one of the first videos that came up. I think, uh, and you know, this Chris Williamson's video just happened to be the first one. I am a woman age sixty, never married, no children. For me, it was the right decision. It is a lifestyle that suits my personality. All right? Well, that lifestyle is she's not going to be delivered. Look, you how about me? I should going to. She's gonna die in a burning flame. The hot thunderbolt's gonna take take her out. Alright. Yeah. But then she goes and says, Well, if you wanna to choose to have a family, 
choose to have a family. Right. I am 23 and I still feel like a child in many aspects. Can't imagine having a kid now. Right. These are, these are feminists. I am childless at 38. I was with the wrong person 20 from 23 to 30 and deep down I knew it right because women they don't know how to make proper uh, mate decisions and decisions in general the majority of them are fiscally irresponsible and dizzy all right but could not acknowledge it never allowed myself to get pregnant with his baby although I knew I wanted kids someday all right so again they have no guidance no guidance whatsoever So for women and people in general that don't have any guidance, Israelites I'm referring to, uh, you don't have any guidance. You know, well, Salman said, uh, he's, he, this is a great example. When you read up, it's talking about, uh, you know, if you promise something, you pledged. You know, if you read up, you made a promise or something, uh, what to do. All right? So Solomon gives an example, and starting at the sixth verse, I'm going to start from. It says, go to the ant thou sluggard, consider her ways and be wise which having no guide overseer or ruler provideth her meat in the summer and gathereth her food in the harvest all right so the ants don't have uh, what well, ants are in, in per perfect they have their program to know what to do all right so if you don't have direction you got to search the scriptures to get get your proper direction all right so it says study the, uh, the ant how the ants work all right the ants don't have a guide but they know what to do all right they eat and they work all right so if you don't know what to do study how the ants support the colony all right and laziness is going to cause you destruction so if you don't know how to support how to be a man how to be a woman you had to search, search the scriptures. Well, well it's inexcusable now. I just, this is just adding details to what, what's already known. And if you knew, you may not know. I'll give, I'll give you that point. All right. How long wilt thou sleep, O sluggard? When wilt thou arise out of thy sleep? Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty come as one that travaileth and thy want as an armed man. All right. So if you're lazy, you're going to get the results of you being lazy. All right. So if you're not being proactive or even reactive in fixing your issues, you're going to come to poverty. All right. Yeah, 7389. I think this is right here. It just says poverty. 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 And. I don't think I look poverty up. Poverty, the state and condition of having little or no money, goods, or means, or means of support, condition of being poor, deficiency of necessary or desirable ingredients, qualities. Yeah, so you no know, scripturally, like if you don't study, you're not gonna ever learn. If you don't like look the words up, look the, the scriptures or verses up. You know, when it comes to you know making money out in the world or, or getting support from other people if you don't actually put your hand out like say a closed mouth don't get fed you need to actually be proactive or even reactive and fix your problems so you can be on the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh right side and put yourself in the best position for salvation all right poverty and work that word back up that uh saved sazo to save from the evils which obstruct the reception of the messianic deliverance. That's powerful definition right there. Alright. And next scripture. Show yourselves men. Rather than be women that are east. It's a lot of information there. But we're just going to move on. Uh, secure. Probably we'll go to the ant. We figured out. We studied the studied the ant and then we've uh, adapted the qualities of the ant so we can eat so we can be delivered all right working fulfilling our duties in the faith all right 
What's this? Poverty. Uh, now I was going to go into adultery. Yeah, so I was going to go into adultery. All right. Always with the wife of another. All right, so a man cannot commit adultery. We got an op. All right. So if a man has sex with another man's wife. All right. And there are a few examples of a man doing it. Which inversely, uh, <laughs> the woman's on the other end. All right. You can't have one without the other. All right. That's that there. You know, unless she was, you know, forced, forced or whatever. Yeah, Yahweh Shai uh, designed us to be together. He didn't design us to just go off on our own. It was very, you know, few cases when, you know, you had certain, like, prophets. You know, that would, uh, that would be sent off, you know, by themselves, you know. The Lord said, you know, he sends us out two by two. And you had, you know, you did have certain prophets that were by themselves. All right. But you also had, you know, contemporaries, you know, prophets, even if the other prophet isn't mentioned, you had, you always had, a, you know, uh, prophets, you had sons of the prophets. You had uh, certain prophets that, you know, communed with other prophets. Uh, but Yahweh Shai, he meant us to be together. Again, I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask it shall be done for them of my father which is in heaven all right so when we go out to camp all right the camp is the altar and we uh present our sacrifice which is our work that we perform in our bodies that's our sacrifice all right uh, for where two or three are gathered together in my name there am i in the midst of them all right yeah so we, we were meant to be to be together to preach prophesy all right so notice how the how the righteous people of the scriptures are not these these lone wolf uh, i can do everything by myself mentality all right and i should say agree was the point i wanted to make here uh, 48 g 4856 i think i have that here we got uh sum sum for neo agree with one in making a bargain to make an agreement to bargain to be suitable i concur i concur to st stipulate to demand or specify typically as part of a bargain or agreement together with all right so that independent attitude is going to lead to your absolute incineration. All right. To be harmonious. Agree. All right. To bargain. I was looking up. Okay. An agreement between two or more parties as to what each party would do for the other. All right. Reciprocal. All right. You know, the man typically provides his presence is a blessing. <laughs> And then a you know, woman pro provides the maternal duties, as I read. Let me go back so you can. Right here. Nurturing, protecting, caretaking, uh, managing household affairs. All right, maternal duties. All right, let's look that up again. Agreement between two or more parties, what each party would do for each other. All right, so we come together. We come together to preach the gospel. We come together as it was a husband and wife, you know, to have a family. All right. So that's the duality there. And I look up adultery. We are talking about it yesterday at camp. So it's voluntary violation of the marriage bed. Um, see, what Esau, what he confuses, uh, he says, is, if you're unmarried, that's adultery. That's not adultery. If you're unmarried and you have sex. All right. That's the modern definition. We're talking about the biblical, the actual definition of adultery. The word adultery at, at its base means to alter. All right. The condition is led uh, to commit adultery, corrupt, alterer, alterer, to, uh, to alter. All right. So we you basically you alter the original you know, commandment order, which was given by the power. 
all right yahweh all right alteration you alter all right so that you use that in a sentence i need i need an alteration done to this garment you change what its, it's original use was all right you saw so for recreational purposes of a woman that's not it's not adultery all right that that's adultery what i what i just explained all right so and now that led to cuckold for some reason yeah right. cuckoldry so we're gonna go into that highlight some things here cuckold i think that's how we pronounce it cuckold cuckold a man who's white let's, let's look at this derisive 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 expressing contempt or ridicule derisive name for a man whose wife is false to him all right meaning you know we can have sex with many women but women cannot have sex with many many men so if a wife is if a wife is false to him that means she has committed adultery against the husband all right uh, derisive name for a man whose wife is false to him a husband of an adulteress early kukawald kukawald uh, so called from the females female birds alleged habit of changing mates all right see how it's closed on a woman's end but open on the man's end all right a cuckold cuckold so if your wife is sleeping with other men you become a cuckold all right so if your wife commits adultery against you you're a cuckold by definition all right so that's there uh you looked it up for yourself the meaning of cuckold the original meaning 13th century all right then you get the birds example all right being false to him i think that that was almost my scriptures yeah, so I end a lesson there. So I went a few few places, two or three places, and uh, hopefully you know more than before you watch my video. And right, we go to started off with standard and did it properly defining standards, which is those morals and ethics and habits, etc., established by authority, custom, or an individual as acceptable. So a man has standards. All right. So hope you ratify. Shalom.